1986, we got another person outside shot in the leg, a female. I got people running out of the theater, they were shot. Among the many in that theater Friday morning was a 32-year-old single mother of two named Rebecca Wingo. She and a friend were sitting in the fourth row when the gunman opened fire. I need officers on the east side of Blockett. Immediately, they ran for the door. At the same time, James Holmes pointed his gun in that direction. 302, I got an NML shot. I need to rescue right in front of the theaters by Dillard. And he started firing on the people at the door, and they got separated a little bit, and when he caught sight of her again, she was laying on the floor, bleeding from her chest and bleeding from her head. We first met Rebecca's mother, Shirley, later in the morning on Friday. She had been looking for her daughter after Rebecca's friend told her what had happened. He doesn't know what happened after that, but he does know that he moved her, that boy Marcus moved her, and when he did, her wallet fell away and he saw that, so that's why we know she doesn't have her wallet. Rebecca would have been listed at a local hospital as Jane Doe. I'm looking for her right now. That's all I'm doing. Like any mother, Shirley held out hope her daughter was still alive, just lost without an ID. I'm looking for Rebecca and I just found out she's without ID. So we're looking for Jane Doe, not Rebecca. Yes, and I think, I just talked to the police, they have a Jane Doe that went to university. So I'm headed there right now. Okay? Okay, I gotta go. I think it's serious, Rob. I think it's serious. I think she's been shot. I'll call you from university and tell you what's what I find, okay? Call the other hospitals and look for Jane Doe. Okay. Okay, bye. Shirley still thought her daughter was alive. She didn't know at the time Rebecca had already passed away. She continued on her search looking for answers to a question she never thought she would be asked.